First of all, I would like to pay tribute to the French workers who are conducting a magnificent strike movement at the moment. It's an, it's an inspiration to absolutely everybody across Europe. Secondly, I would like to thank the organizers for inviting us to this conference. We really, we really didn't know that so many people across France and Europe supported Britain leaving the European Union. We uh, in the RMT are a union of 80,000 workers that cover train workers, tube workers, bus workers and seafarers. We oppose racism in all its forms. We're for a people's Europe and a people's world, a socialist Europe and a socialist world. You may have seen the Brexit campaign led in Britain by racists like Farage and racists like Boris Johnson and the right wing of the Tory party. We have no association with these people at all. These people are sometimes like a stopped clock. They are right twice a day, but for all the wrong reasons. We want to come out of the European Union because we want to protect workers' rights. Of course, in Britain, Thatcher and the Conservatives, and after that, the Labour government, brought about privatisation. But what the European Fourth Rail Package does, it institutionalises privatisation. Even if we had a left-wing government elected in Britain tomorrow, if Jeremy Corbyn was Prime Minister, he could not renationalise the railways fully and stay in the European Union. We have the obscene spectacle where Portuguese workers, our brothers and sisters, are working in British ships in Southampton, getting paid less than three pounds an hour, which is less than half the national minimum wage. And this is what the European Union is all about. It's a boss's club, a rich man's club, that want to destroy workers' rights and workers' conditions. We welcome any worker from across Europe and indeed across the world. We have got more in common with workers from everywhere than our own bosses, but we want those workers to have the same terms, conditions and pay as British workers. Our opponents want to say that we are racists for demanding that workers have equal rights. This is a slur. This is not the truth. It's part of a project fear to intimidate workers and ethnic minorities in Britain into voting to stay within the European Union. <laughs> the liberalisation package that the European Union are demanding by 2020, which is the reason France is on strike at the minute, will be applied in every European country. We have the obscene spectacle of an American company, Uber, registered in Holland, taking the Spanish government to the European court because they say they're restricting their trade. And of course, this will be the template for every other multinational that wants to drive down terms and conditions. If a government protests, if the government tries to protect its workers, that company will bring the government to the European court. This will be enshrined in the TTIP agreement, which is now being negotiated in secret behind our backs. The chief negotiator for Europe said plainly that she was not responsible for the European, to the European people. She was responsible to the unelected European Commission. 
I would like to end this by saying this year is a historic year for me as an Irishman. 100 years ago, a couple of thousand Irish people rose up in 1916 and shook the chains of the British Empire. It's my fervent hope that in 2016, the peoples of France, the peoples of Germany, the peoples of Spain, all the peoples of Europe will rise up against the dictatorship of the European Union. Viva la Trinidad! Yes. Yes. Yes.